Hi guys, John here again. Today I'm going to show you the One Alliance build and how to install it. Okay, so first thing first, it's going to be pretty much the same uh, install process as the last video, um, but towards the end it's just a slightly different one. The reason being is it comes from the same repo. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through it. As you can see, we've got System Power. We all know what they are, our favourites. Uh, this one here is fit Fitness. As you can see, plenty of good add-ons for fitness. We have Comedy, again. A good selection of comedy add-ons. Sports. There's, this is very, uh, very sports-focused uh, build. So as you can see, good selection of add-ons underneath it. Uh, another sports one, slow sports. Again, very good selection of um, add-ons. B E T sports. Again, got a few good add-ons underneath it. We have live sports. Sorry, live sports again with a good selection of working add-ons. TV guide, which is very handy for the add-ons which are live TV. On demand. We have a few good uh, working quality add-ons underneath it. Music, as you can see, good selection of music add-ons. Movies, once again, it's got a very good selection of add-ons underneath it. TV shows, very good selection of working add-ons there for TV shows as well. And then we have the other maintenance such things such as speed test, which is very handy if you're having streaming quality problems. So you can you can break down to if it's uh, to what is actually causing it. Um, here we go. Reality. As you can see, some good good add-ons there. I'm assuming I haven't actually got into it. I'm assuming reality is documentaries. Then we get to our add-ons, which is you know just our normal add-ons. Uh, we're all piled together, and an uh, area for kids. So we got a good selection of kids add-ons uh, right there as well. And now this um, particular build, it's well maintained. Everything seems to be up to date, um, and it's. Now this build is well maintained, everything seems to be up to date um, and it's definitely worthwhile having a look at. It's um, it's a very good build and currently fairly popular from what I've seen and uh, it's easy to use. Nice big fonts um, and it seems to have just better in this. Okay, um, so now we've seen what it's like, let's get into how to install this build. Okay, so this is how we install the One Alliance build on KD17. First, we have to go up to Settings, which is the gear icon, and then across the System Settings. Go down to Add-ons, and across to Unknown Sources, tick the box and select Yes. Now we can install third-party add-ons. Now we need to go back a page and select File Manager, and select Add Source. Select None, and enter the following URL, http forward slash one alliance dot x y z forward slash repo pause the video if you need to until you can drill it down once that's done select OK give it a name um, oh no I might actually call it alliance once that's done select OK now we need to go back to the home screen and um, this is, it's going to be very similar to our last video, the one the box build. It's pretty much the same process until we get to install it. Um, it's uh, fairly simple actually. So now we go back to the home screen and then select add-ons. We have to select the open box looking thing which is our add-on explorer. Then select install from zip file. Select the alliance file we just created which is up the top and then plug in program one lights wizard dot zip give that a few minutes to download and install depending on your speed of the internet and their servers it might take a little while once that has been downloaded um, which 
took me a long time, but it, I don't know, it couldn't be my internet, maybe their service. We have to go back to program add-ons. Now you might get this pop-up, um, and it's basically, it's just going to ask if you want any settings enabled for the build. A lot of these settings, they're not absolutely necessary, but they are very handy. Um, Tracked is a very handy um, setting to have enabled because it keeps track of your videos and what you've watched and so forth and so on. So it's up to you if you want to. Uh, if you get this pop-up, you can select your build menu or just ignore for the sake of ease on the video and showing people who don't get this pop-up. I'm just going to ignore this video, this pop-up. You will get it again, maybe. Um, if you do, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go down, select continuous, and then I'm going to select program add-ons, and there's that pop-up again. I'm just going to select ignore, and then select one alliance wizard. Now we go down to builds. And then we've got to go down to Cody 17. And I'm going to select the top one, which is the One Alliance Krypton build. I'm going to go down to Fresh Install. And then I'm going to select Continue. There we go. It's just as you can see, it's going. It's only a 200 odd meg file, and it shouldn't take very long to do. I'll cut through the um, boring bits, and uh, we'll get to good stuff when it's done. Okay, so here we can see that it's finally finished downloading the uh, build and extracted it. Now what we have to do is force close it. So as usual, if you're on a Android device or Fire Stick, something like that. Uh, Remove the power and then plug it back in. If you're on a PC, um, select Force Close. It'll close by itself. If you're on a phone or tablet, just Force Close the app and then restart it. So I'm just going to click Force Close, and when we open up, we'll have the new build. And here it is. And that's, this is the One Alliance build. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Um, nice little intro. Uh, might not be for everyone, but still pretty good. Okay, so uh, that's how you install this One Alliance build. Um, remember to like and share and subscribe. And keep an eye out for new videos as they come. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye for now.